In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to configure your app's navigation by using the tab bar and more screen in the Buddy Boss app. The tab bar is this row of icons at the bottom, and if I tap on this more tab, we are brought into the more screen where I can optionally add additional menu items. We can customize which menus are added and how they get organized, and we can select our own icons and set their colors, all from within the WordPress admin. Now let's go into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. So here we are at Buddy Boss App Branding tab bar. So you can see that we are currently editing the tab bar menu. If I come down here, you can see that we have four custom tabs that we've added into our tab bar, plus a more tab. And if I scroll down further, you can see that we have a preview here showing how the tab bar will look in an iPhone. And if I click here, we can see also how the tab bar would look in an Android device. And then to edit the more screen, I can come back to this dropdown and switch to the more screen. And now we can see our more screen menu and we can see a preview of what it looks like in an iPhone and an Android. So now I'm actually going to delete all of these menus so we can rebuild our navigation together from scratch. So if I click here, I can click on remove and I can remove this one. And I'll just go one by one and remove every menu. So here we are back on the tab bar. I have already deleted all of the menu items from both the tab bar and the more screen. Here on the left, we can see the different content types that can be added into the menus. Core app contains all of the screens that come packaged with the app, including settings, notifications, and directories such as groups and courses. You may or may not see all of these menu items, depending on which plugins and options are enabled on your website. App Pages contains all of the app-specific pages that we've created. App Pages are special pages just for the app that do not display at all in the WordPress frontend. These pages can also use special Gutenberg blocks that we've created just for the app. I have another video that shows you how to configure your app homepage using App Pages, which I recommend watching for more info on this topic. And then we can also add WordPress pages and custom link URLs from these sections down here. And then you'll notice we have this warning here. You have not yet added a settings menu, which is required for user settings. All of this content here is optional with the one exception being the settings menu. The settings menu includes important functionality, such as the ability to log out of the app, the ability to access your login information, the ability to turn face ID on and off, and the ability to switch sites if you're using multi-site. And if you're using BuddyBoss platform, it is also where all of your account information will display. So this menu is very important. Let's go ahead and click on add settings menu. And we can see the settings menu was added here. You can add it into either the tab bar or the more screen, as long as you add it somewhere. While we're in the core app section, let's go ahead and add our courses menu. This menu will display all of our LearnDash courses. And we'll want our app to have a home page, so let's go into app pages, and we can add this home page that I created earlier, and we'll move it to be first. Note that whichever tab is first will act as your home page, meaning when a user first logs into the app, they will always start on this first tab. So if I wanted users to start on courses, I would simply move this courses menu to be in the first position, but I'll leave it as home. You might have noticed that we no longer have a more tab in here. That is because we have not yet added any menus into our more screen. Once we add some menus into there, the more tab will appear automatically here. So if you want to have a really minimalist app with just a few tabs at the bottom, you can do that. I'm going to keep this as a minimalist app just for the moment. We'll come back to our more screen later. If we come back into core app, let's go ahead and add a profile menu into here. And I'll move it here. The more screen automatically includes a special profile menu at the top, but if we're not going to use the more screen, then we won't have that. So instead, we may want to use this profile tab to give logged in users direct access to their profile. At any time, we can modify the text and icons in any of these tabs. Let's go ahead and rename profile. I'll call it me. And I also want to change our home icon to something more representative. I'll select this home icon. And you can see that we can use the default color or we can override this icon with a custom color. For now, I'll stick with the default black and I'll show you later in this video how to change the default color as well. You will also notice that we have the ability to upload our own custom icons. We actually have a lot of options for how to configure your custom icons, so I will discuss this topic more in a separate video. Okay, let's come back here and we'll use this home icon that we selected. And now you can see the updated home icon and the updated me text in our preview here. Let's go ahead and click update. I mentioned we can change the default color for icons, 
We can do that by heading over to this color menu at Buddy Boss App Branding Colors, and we'll click to open Tab Bar and More Screen. From here, we could change the Tab Bar background color. I'll leave it to the default. We can also change the icon default color. This is the color for each icon when in its default state in both the tab bar and the more screen. When editing any individual icon, as I just showed you, we can override this default color with a custom color to be applied to that particular icon. I'll just leave the setting as black. And then we can also change the icon active color. The setting is specific to the tab bar and will set the color of the icon when that tab is selected in the app. I'll change it to this kind of orange color for this app. And I'll go ahead and click on save changes. Let's pause here and go take a quick look at the app so we can see our progress so far. Let's hard quit the app first. Now we can see our four tabs at the bottom, including our home icon in orange. And we can tap on courses, me, which is showing our profile, and settings. Let's quickly go back into the WordPress admin so I can show you a couple of other options. I'm back in our tab bar settings, and if I scroll down here, you can see that we have some additional options. The first option is whether or not we want to show labels below the tab bar icons. Let's disable the labels. And the second option is for the tab bar style outlined or filled. If I click on filled, you can see that all the icons get this new filled style. Let's use these settings and we'll click on update. Let's go back to our app so we can see what it looks like. So again, I'm going to hard quit the app. And we can see this new minimal style with no icon labels. And we also have our filled icon style, which looks pretty cool. Next, we're going to go back into the WordPress admin, and I will show you how to add a more tab and how to configure the menus for the optional more screen. Let's switch labels back on and we'll set our tab bar icon style back to outlined. And then we'll head over to the more screen menu. I'm going to add some of our social menus into here. So I'll come in here and add members, activity, groups, and forums. And I'll click save. We can see a preview of these menus here. And let's go back to our tab bar for a moment. And now we can see that since we've added some menus into the more screen menu, this more tab menu was automatically added into our tab bar and we can see it showing here in our preview as well. We can open this more tab menu to rename it and to change its icon just like any other menu. We have these options for list round and list square and also this generic menu icon if you prefer a simpler style. I'll just use this list square icon which I think looks nice. While we're back in our tab bar settings, let's try adding a blog menu into here. And you can see that we get a warning that the tab bar can only contain four menu items plus a more tab. So let's first remove our settings menu, which I would prefer to put into the more screen anyways. And now we can replace it with blog. And let's come down here and click on update. Now we can go back into our more screen so we can add our settings menu back. And now we can actually take this a step further by organizing these menus into sections. So I can come open this sections menu, which is only available when we're in the more screen, and I'll click to add a section into the menu. I'll move this section first, and then we'll indent settings into it. And let's rename this one to app settings. And then let's add one more section, and I'll move it up here. And then let's indent all of our community menu items into it. And we'll rename this one to community. So you can probably start to see how this is working. If you indent menus under a section, they will get visually grouped together. And the section title will display as the heading for this grouping of menus. Let's click update. Now we can also add a WordPress page. I'll add this privacy policy page. I have another video all about how WordPress pages and web fallbacks work in the app, so make sure to watch that video if you're interested. And then we can also add a custom link. Let's add the Buddy Boss Facebook page, and I'll give it the link text of Facebook. Add to menu. 
we can open this menu and I'm going to check open an external browser. This will open the menu in Safari or Chrome. If I did not check this option, then it would load this menu within the app. And let's also change our icon. I'll select the Facebook icon. And if I scroll here, we can see a preview of our new menus. Let's also group these together into their own section. I'll call this section pages and I'll click update. Before we go to preview this in our app, let's also change the colors of these menu icons to make it more exciting. In our public app demo, you may have noticed that we're using alternating colors in the more screen icons. You can do the same thing. If I open up a menu icon, I can click here to edit the color. And then I can click on custom and select color. Down here, these are actually the colors that you see in our demo. I'm gonna pick this color and I'll click use this icon. And then I'll go to members and give it a different color. And I'll just go one by one and change the rest of these. Okay, so I'm all done with editing our icon colors. And then if I come down here, you can see that we have two icon styles, boxed, which is what we're currently seeing, and outlined. I'll stick with boxed for now and we will update our settings. And now let's pause and go see how our more screen looks in the app. I'll show you both the boxed and outlined styles back to back. I've already hard quit the app and now we can see that our More tab has been added. And at the top, we can see our special profile menu up here. And our settings menu is in here as well. And as I scroll down, we can see that our menus have all been added with their custom icon colors and nested properly within their section titles. And we can see that we are using this boxed style. Our Facebook URL has a special icon added automatically, indicating that it's going to open up in an external browser window. So let's try that. Now I'm going to pause the video and in the background, I'll switch to the outline style and refresh the app so we can see how that looks. And now we can see the outline style is also looking really great on our more screen. As you can see, we have provided you with a ton of options for customizing your app navigation. And this video doesn't even cover every option. You can also upload your own custom icons and you can upload your own fonts to set custom typography in the tab bar and more screen and throughout the app. We hope you enjoy using all of these options to fully customize your BuddyBoss app experience.